Welcome back to the Mind, Body, Soul of Homemaking. My name is Audrey, if you're new. I make motivational homemaking videos, wife life content, traditional living, slow living. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. But today, I wanted to do a little video on how to make your home feel and look cozy because I think for a lot of us, I think a big reason why many of us are drawn to cozy is because it really gives us a sense of comfort and I think it can play a big role in our mental health. And I did a video a couple years ago about a cozy fall day in the life talking about Huga. So it's the quality of comfort and coziness. It's something that brings contentment and joy. It's just a way of living and something that actually I've lived my whole life but I didn't know there was a definition for. It's something as simple as lighting a candle or you know cooking something in the crock pot all day. I just wanted to help anybody who's struggling to possibly make their house a little bit more cozy. These are not groundbreaking new things, but just maybe some tips and tricks, maybe a little bit of reminders on ways that you can implement into your own home. So if you close your eyes for a moment, are you closing your eyes? And you just picture walking into a room, what's the first thing that you see when you think of the word cozy? No doubt you're probably gonna think of the five senses. So we're gonna talk and kind of break those down a little bit. One thing that I suggest is to go on Pinterest, look up cozy living room ideas or cozy bedroom ideas kind of get an idea of what you kind of want your style to be. So when you think of cozy, no doubt you probably think of going home to your mom's house or your grandma's house. You can walk in and instantly you feel a sense of comfort and coziness. We can contribute that, you know, to the atmosphere, things that they have done to implement into their home that sets off that mood. So going forward, something that's really gonna help you to possibly remember how to make your home cozy is like we talked about the five senses. So that's sight, touch, smell, taste here. So for sight, we're kind of going to be focusing on lighting. Never go for cool tones. We want to go for warm tones. Now you can find this in the Walmart section. When you pick out your light bulbs, you want to go for a soft, warm tone. Something that really, you guys are probably uh, know this by now, but I am obsessed with twinkle lights. A lot of the times you can get them around the holiday season, but these lights are really going to make you feel a sense of coziness. So a good example of this, we have this light here above the kitchen sink and it's just overpowering and it's a cool toned light. You can definitely tell between the twinkle lights and the top light here and even the fan light that this is much cooler of a tone so it definitely doesn't send off those warm cozy vibes so I usually keep that off and as you're walking into the room it's much more inviting and not so in your face and hurting your eyes because <laughs> I find the cool tone hurts my eyes and you know lights can actually trigger dopamine that's the feel-good chemical in your brain with these bright experiences with lights, we do have the psychological response from the nervous system that helps us make us feel alert, more you know, awake, and can bring us these feelings of happiness. So yes, definitely something that I recommend is getting lights. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is touch. So this can be a cozy blanket, a throw, cozy pajamas, socks, a sweater, you know, cozy slippers. I mean, just thinking about it, it just makes me so. <laughs> Definitely implement something like this into like your physical wardrobe. That way, not only your house is feeling cozy, but you yourself feel, you know, that sense of warmth and cozy and comfort. So the next big thing is smell. So when you walk into a room, what's like the first thing that you smell? Maybe it's a good candle. That's something that's not overpowering, something that I highly recommend and something that I think would kind of bring a lot of comfort and coziness to your husband when he comes home from work is to have something you know stewing in the crock pot essential oils like a diffuser something that is not like I said too overpowering but something that's nice and warm candles can also play another role in sight all encompassing so when you walk into a room again you see you know the candles burning that gives you that sense of warmth. I am trying to steer away from scented things as far as candles go, unless it's very a light scent. I really want to get something that's unscented because sometimes that does affect your mood as far as if it's too sweet or too 
too much odor in the air. So just be mindful of that if that's something that maybe affects your household. Try to get like unscented candles. You know, scent can go as far as instead of using bleach to mop your floors, you can use some essential oils. It seriously makes all the difference because if I'm using a Clorox spray, I just feel like stress. Like I just feel like, oh, I can't breathe. But if I'm using something like these or like a Simply Earth essential oils into some water, you just feel more calm, more relaxed. Odor molecules flow to the lymphatic system in the brain. This is where feelings, moods, emotions, behaviors, and memories are processed. Sense builds into a powerful story that can affect our emotions. So no doubt if you have a certain scent, you instantly go back to a memory that probably brings you a sense of comfort and coziness. So really don't underestimate your cleaning products. I know for me, it's a process. You slowly transition if that's what you're trying to do for your household into your cleaning products. Because we're so conditioned into buying like store-bought cleaning products, it can be a little bit overwhelming, I think, to transition over into natural products. So don't feel like, oh my gosh, I have to have everything natural. Transforming your whole entire way of learning how to to run your home than what you're used to. So the next thing is taste. This can be like a cozy drink, a matcha, a golden milk tea, those are really good. Obviously coffee, you know, in the morning. Warm, fresh baked bread. Something that I mentioned in my last video is every homemaker needs is a candy jar. Something that, like I said, you walk into your grandma's house, there's always a candy jar. It just brings you a sense of comfort. So the fifth thing is sound, being possibly like a soft music playing in the background. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that I like Michael Bublé, classical music. Something that instantly gets me in like a cozy mood is playing something on the TV, uh, like a baking show. The, the Great British Baking Show, that instantly puts me in a cozy You feel like, oh, this morning I'm just not feeling it. Turn on the Great British Baking Show and I guarantee you, you're gonna feel a sense of coziness. So once we have all the lighting situated, something I recommend is turning on a little bit of a fireplace on your TV if you don't have fireplace itself and even the noise crackling can be very soothing and very therapeutic also we want to turn off the main overhead light and then that'll kind of dim the lights a little bit and make it a little bit more cozy you just feel like little things but if you implement them every day in your life you are going to feel a sense of comfort it's really going to go a long way in your mood it's just something that you need to be mindful of so ladies that is it for my video if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up it really does help my channel and i really hope you enjoyed it i hope this helps you to make your home feel and look more cozy and if you have any video recommendations please send them below and i will see you ladies in my next video bye, bye.